Today's adventure begins by fueling up here, $4.69 a gallon at a holiday gas station. And across the way is a space alien restaurant. I will be crossing over into Minnesota and maybe further than that today. Doing a lot of, covering a lot of ground. All right, cup of coffee, full tank of fuel, and a case of water for the road. I'm ready to rock. Welcome everyone. Out of the woo here as the recording of this Thursday, June 23rd, 2022. Just crossed over the state line out of Fargo into Minnesota. Now I do have somewhere to be in about a week or so from now, and I have quite a ways to get there. So I'll be covering a lot of ground. Probably we'll hit some interstates, some freeways, maybe some back roads. I have no real rhyme or reason what the game plan is today. But nonetheless, I'm inviting you. Sometimes the best days are no game plan days, just travel days. It's a travel day, but I'm gonna cover some miles. Join me. That's, that's a little warm. Well, that's really warm. Shall you? The problem I have with interstates is I get very bored and I have to veer off which I've already veered off. One thing I like about small towns is they almost always have a Dollar General or similar to a Dollar General store. Every one of them has one, including Barnesville, which coming up at the end of August, they have an event here called Potato Days. That has to be a lot of fun. I always like when these little communities have different events every year that they're known for. Potato Days in Barnesville. Now, if you're brought in for doing no good, there goes a piece of heavy machinery. You would probably not be put in the old jail over here. You'd probably be put in a new one. It is now used as a tourist and artisan center. Doesn't appear to be open though. And, fun fact, it's now listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It has the old metal door here with the bars. I don't remember bars being on these windows. Just a Back to the Future 2 quote. In fact, this department here on 101 Front Street is also on the National Registry. There's a sign there as well. Yeah, very quaint little downtown section here. Nice. Down on the end is the hardware store and pharmacy. Well, I guess the hardware store stretches not only from way down there, but there's also a hardware store here. Maybe it's all one building. Hardware Hank is being promoted down there. Possibly that is Hardware Hank. I don't see a name tag. Got the city hall straight ahead over there. This is the old city hall, dated 1899. But the newer one, which still looks very vintage-like, is over there on the corner. A lot of farmland out here. Miles and miles and miles and miles of farmland. This is Rothsay, population of only 510 residents. See some grain elevators over here. Silos, I should say. This would be their downtown. Also, take a look at this Tiger Mart. Nice Coca-Cola Classic emblem there. That signage is probably from the 70s, maybe. Got the church building up here on this, this side, on the right there. Also a place called Lindbergh Motors. And the engineering company up here on this corner. Look at this building, this is awesome. I love that. Some areas have main streets. Theirs is known as Main Avenue. The Johnson Blacksmith building still stands. See the signage above the door there. Before getting back on the interstate, a little parking area and picnic section over here. And 
there is a bird, some sort of fowl, up here next to this flagpole. As I get closer, it says the booming prairie chicken. A booming prairie chicken, interesting. Prairie chickens moved ahead of the settlers to inhabit the prairies of Minnesota. Especially in this area. This is a prairie chicken. An oversized prairie chicken. This thing stands probably 15 feet tall, if I had to guess. Hello there, prairie chicken. All right, I'm gonna get moving on. See you later. Continued on a little bit more, probably 30 miles or so, and entering the community of Dalton. This is the Dalton Creamery. And next to that is the Opera House. Next to the community center is a sign that they're gonna be having beach bingo Friday the 24th. A little bait shop here and convenient gas station. The Dalton Cafe and the hideout here. Take a look at that, there's the hideout. This old truck sits in the town of Ashby. And right up top there is the water tower, the Ashby water tower. Zip code 56309. You don't see too many zip codes on the side of water towers. Assuming that's what that is. I know it's a water tower, but I mean zip code. A couple of restaurants down here, a Viking bank next to the old First National Bank. Club 74 looks like the place to party. That has got a retro vibe to it. There's a sign here that states State Goose Refuge. And there's a bird. Another bird sculpture over here. Next to these picnic tables. Is this a goose? This rusted out piece of metal says, Coot. There's some birds chirping up there. I just got to thinking, there are plenty of times in my life where I am around lots of people. No elbow room, no space, and then other times I'm just out basically in the middle of nowhere in areas where there's just not a whole heck of a lot of people seeing things like this. I like having both. I like having both in my life. So it, you find a good balance that way. It, it works for me. It works, it works for me. I'm really enjoying this being out on this road trip. Really enjoying it. And just up the way is a little bit more. Got on the interstate and now veering off of the freeway to West Union. Farmland. Here's the city hall and a grouping of lawnmowers. And that must be the post office right next to it. Just all those mailboxes right there. There's some cows. Not real cows though. Fake cows on that corner. Oh, the cows are crossing a bridge here on the corner of First and Main. There's a chicken right there. Look, that's very creative. 
There's some other birds. Oh, there's a bird down here too. And a pig. There's a pig around there. Fire station over there in the distance too. Made it to Melrose now. Looking through my side mirror, you can see the water tower peeking over the downtown area. Looks like they're doing a little construction here as well on the road. And I'm noticing this alarm or a horn up top here. Above the classic truck. My first impression is that is used for tornadoes. Tornado siren. Classic truck alert. Got a dairy farm over here to the side. Some crops in the field. And a little painted two flags there. United we stand on the side of the field and some round bales as well. Round bales. Here in Freeport, they have a very happy water tower. I like that. How could you not like that? Made it across the state line now into Wisconsin. This is a very unusual water fountain. <laughs> you can put your head inside here. Does the water work? It does. That's pretty clever. Roberts, Wisconsin, across the state line. There's the Roberts Cafe with a Coca-Cola. It almost looks like a New Coke logo. Remember New Coke in the 80s, only lasted a short while. But it almost kind of looks like the New Coke design. Has that been kind of dangling there since, was it 85? Maybe. And a nice little mural here of train station and the train going by here in Roberts. And now over to Hammond with the Hammond water tower peeking up over the buildings, very high up there. And according to what's written on that roof there, it says private, Baldwin private, approaching Baldwin, Wisconsin, where there's a private airport. The Wisconsin flag underneath the U.S. flag right there. There it goes. A little bit of wind. Go Wisconsin flag, go. That's kind of interesting. It's date stamped 1893, the pharmacy there, but it has a little pharmacy emblem up on top of it. It's kind of unique. And then up here, this bakery is an old Coca-Cola sign. It still has the word bakery written across the, the wall too. Now this is a much better angle. Yet the wooden, the wood bakery sign, the R has been removed. The R has fallen down. Pieces of wood make up the lettering. I don't think this is open anymore. A little bit of road construction out here. I've been waiting on this light for a while. It's like a temporary red and green yellow light. No traffic coming the other way. Look, it's been red for a while. I don't know what to do. Been waiting a while. There's no one out here. Ah, there it is. 
community hall in the village of Knapp. Hello, bird. I'm noticing a lot of these areas are called villages, not towns or cities, but villages. Oh, look over here. Got the red eyes. What do you think, Big the Foot? Related? And the water department is just this little building. The reason I know it's the water department is because it's stated across the side there. Water department, Knapp, Wisconsin. If I'm pronouncing it correct, the name of this area is Minomani. And the sidewalk is closed, they're doing some road work. But this old gas station here still has the fuel pumps. I think there's some apartments up top now. I think some of the residents' cars are kind of parked off to the side here. The old gas pumps still here in the ground. Sometimes you'll see a lot of these places where the gas pumps have been removed, but the gas pumps are still here. And this kind of adds a nice little ambiance to it. There's a spider web right there kind of glistening in the, in the setting sun. A little more traffic through this this area. Ten dollar sale. Turbo International. Now when I think of Wisconsin, this is what I think of. Farmhouses like that. And ranchers out on their property, taking care of business. Making sure the crops are gonna be thriving and bountiful. Someone right out there right now on their heavy machinery. A lot of bugs out here. The fascinating thing about this is, after it gets done spraying where it needs to spray, it rolls. Very fascinating. I didn't realize the wheels rolled over. I thought it stayed put, but the whole thing shifts. There it goes, look. There it goes. Okay, it didn't go far, it only goes like a couple inches, but. It's pretty cool. I am getting bit up out here, these mosquitoes. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Cows on the hill. Hello, cows. Those cows are up on the hill. Consuming some hay. Got plenty of round bales there for you, cows. Plenty of round bales. They are gonna be nice and full.
like some sort of prehistoric creature. Always reminds me of a dinosaur. Just the look of it. There's a lot of different farms that have these out here. It resembles almost like a dragon. Prehistoric dinosaur, or maybe a dragon. Keep in mind, there's no traffic out here. Every once in a while a car will pass, but it's rare. Okay, I have got to some accommodations for the evening. Hotel. Sun is setting, glistening through the sky. Covered quite a few miles today. That's going to do it for today. A little bit of clouds in the air. sun glistening off of them. We'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.